Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. Another acrylic tutorial for you today. Uh, really pretty rainbow kind of sunset, uh, similar to some other paintings that I've done, but this one I just has a special place in my heart because it's got a really cool color gradation here uh, that I saw that I just really liked. So I wanted to show you guys how to create it. It's also January here and very cold. So why not just stay on a tropical beach somewhere in our minds? What do you think? So two brushes here today that we're going to use. I just have this large flat brush and a baby brush. <clears throat> I've got a uh, phalo green here on my palette as well as a nice violet purple. Uh, red, orange, yellow, and black, and white. And I'm going to start with my large brush today at the top part of my canvas. And I'm going to be doing a back and forth horizontal brush strokes, starting with my yellow. A little bit of white into that yellow. Just loaded up a light yellow onto my larger brush, and I'm just going to go back and forth just a few times across the top part of my canvas. Don't go too far down, just a little stripe of yellow, just a little bit thicker than the brush itself. Okay, then we're gonna grab uh, just a pinch of orange, and what I do is actually just mix it into the light yellow. Creating a light orange. I'm going to go right underneath that and blend those two together. Very light handed. Okay, then I'm going to rinse my brush. I'm going to move my water cup for us. <laughs> Shaking the whole table. And then I'm going to grab a little bit of red, mix it up with some white, and make a pink. And with that pink, I'm going to go right underneath. So I'm creating kind of like a full rainbow here. I think that's a little bit too vibrant, so you can throw some white right on top. You can mix your colors right on your canvas if you're feeling daring. Blending the two colors together. More gradation practice for today's sunset. Okay, and I got a little overzealous there with my pink, so I'm gonna add some orange back in. There we go. Okay, rinsing my brush again, and now I'm going to make purple, or very light purple, rather, but just purple and quite a bit of white. I like to make pastel colors. Okay. And then blending the two together, just working our way from the top down. Great dexterity practice, practicing, blending. Very great skill to have with acrylic painting. And then I'm going to rinse my brush again. And one more color for the background is going to be a beautiful light teal. Let's go ahead and take that phalo green and mix it with some white. Beautiful tropical water. And we're going to go from the bottom here up to our purple. Same idea, blending those two together. Sometimes what I do to help me blend is I'll put the color on and then I'll rinse my brush and then dry the brush off slightly until it's damp. So not like super dripping wet, not a dry brush, but a damp brush. And just go ahead and take that damp brush and use it almost like a sponge to blend 
the two together. Okay. And that looks good for our first part. So now, really easy step, we're going to let it dry. Uh, and I'll see you guys in a few minutes, probably about five or ten minutes. Let this layer dry and then we'll come back and add the second part. Okay, hello, welcome back. We are going to now be using our baby brushes. And we're going to do some silhouette work. My favorite. Super easy and fun tropical beach that we're going to be creating now. So I like to start with a horizon line. Maybe about two inches up. So you're still going to be in your green here, right where your green starts to blend with your purple. And now as straight as you can, create a line. And come out till a little bit past the middle. And then we're going to do a continuation of that same horizon on the other side. So this is maybe like a harbor. And this is where the boats would come in. So a little opening there. And then I'm going to create sort of a gentle, natural mountain shape on either side. This could just be like, you know, small hills. And I'm going to create a little cliff area for my palm trees in a second. So I'm going to create kind of like a flat area and then sort of wiggle my way down to the shoreline. And then go ahead and fill that in. Just all with black baby brush. Try to make it, like I said, as straight oops, as you can. As I slightly make it wonky. Okay. Building our little harbor. And now let's add some reflective lines. So right underneath where we just created our silhouettes, you're going to do a couple little brush strokes, horizontal brush strokes with space in between. That's the reflection of these in the water. So right underneath and you're sort of mirroring the shape. So in this case, it would be, you know, go further down over here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's create our palm trees. These are a little bit different palm trees, the ones that I've done before. So I do have a tutorial for, um, it's called Santa Barbara Sunset, that has those iconic kind of Santa Barbara style palm trees. Um, but these are very like tropical palm trees that you'd find in Hawaii, um, you know, or any place tropical. Maybe this is, uh, you know, again, maybe over in the Caribbean. I feel like I need a tropical vacation maybe <laughs> keep painting tropical beaches okay so coming from the top part here of our little platform we're going to create a sort of curved line and then also a straight up and down line mm -hmm. and then just directly from the top part of that line you're going to create these additional curved lines that are like the palm fronds Fronds with an N. N D. Fronds. Palm fronds. Pretty sure. Okay. And then from there, little baby strokes that come off it. Trying to get this from the right angle here. So yeah, I paint overhead, you know, with this camera here, my canvas flat on the table, but using a tabletop easel or even a standing easel is also nice. So don't limit yourself. 
and think that you have to have it exactly like how I have my little setup here. So really gentle hand. And then you can thicken up the trunk of the tree, but you do want to keep them fairly skinny. Little soft baby brush strokes coming from it's either either side or just one side, depending on how the palm frond is facing. So like this could have maybe some going from this side and then maybe a few from the other, but you want them to all kind of, you know, go in the same downwards direction. These are coconut trees, I think. They could have coconuts. I was thinking about putting those in, but I decided not to keep it simple. Okay, and then create two little birds. Always a nice touch while I have that black on my paintbrush. And then I'm going to rinse out my baby brush. And add a few final touches here. The first thing is going to be a little yellow sun. Make sure your brush is clean. My brush was not, and I got a kind of grayish yellow, so I'm mixing up some fresh. That's better. Okay, and then I'm going to put my circle pretty much right the entrance of that little harbor that I've created. And then a reflection underneath, and you want that reflection to be right where the water would start on that horizon and then coming down. That's really fun and just like almost like iconic poster feel. I don't know. I think this looks really pretty. It is very simple painting, but I think it's really striking. I'm going to take white on one side here and kind of make my sun more circular. And you can do the same thing Grabbing a little bit of orange, making it look more spherical. That looks pretty. And then also just adding a little bit of orange on there looks really nice. Okay, and then this is um, like sort of more realistic, but I do have one final step that makes it look a little bit more fantasy-like. So you can omit this step, but this is sort of like a fantasy sunrise kind of or sunset kind of thing anyway so why not make it even more fantastic so I'm going to take my sunset colors and I'm going to add them in my my water as more horizontal brush strokes so all the colors that I had in my sunset obviously besides the turquoise that's already there I'm going to add And again, this is an optional step. It does look more realistic and still very pretty if you leave it out. When in doubt, leave it out. That's my motto. So purple. I'm also going to add pink, orange, and a little bit yellow. All the colors that were above reflecting below. Just a little bit. Okay, that was pink and then yellow and then orange. Or orange and then yellow. Don't have to follow the exact steps. The only thing that is really important with acrylic and sort of unique with acrylic is that you do need to think of things in terms of layers. So, you know, it's important that some things look like they're behind other things. You know, like we started with our background here and then we built our foreground. So that's, that's unique with acrylic painting. So you do sometimes have to follow along. 
But that's what I'm here for, to guide you. Grabbing a little bit of yellow as well. I just think it's fun to bring all those colors and sort of display them in a different way. I don't know. Fun, whimsical fantasy ocean paradise cove. <laughs> okay, so that's actually all for today's tutorial. It was really quick and simple. Definitely one of the easier ones. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, please make sure to subscribe. Uh, I also sell original paintings as well as prints. I love to see your artwork in the art club, whether it be a paint painting that you did when you were painting along or just your original art. Uh, share it in the Art Club Facebook group. There is links in the description box below to all of that. And yeah, I hope you guys had a great time. I know I did. And until next time, stay creative. Thank you.